Well, now the third field event final of the afternoon about to get underway. 13 women in this pole vault final. Straight final. There you see the European and Championship records, both held by Russia's Yelena Isabayeva. Well, no Russians in this final, for reasons which are very well known amongst the world of athletics. There we see the names of the 13 women. In amongst them, the Olympic champion Ekaterini Stefanidi from Greece. So, representing the Czech Republic, Romana Malakova. Two-time Czech indoor champion. Here's the Swedish champion, former world junior record holder, Angelica Bengtsson. Belarus. It's the Belarus champion, Irina Yakalatsevich. First of two Finns. Finnish outdoor record holder, Mina Nikonen. Germany's Lisa Reisich, who took the silver medal in Amsterdam at the European Outdoor Championships last summer. The favourite, the European leader, Greece's Ekaterini Stefanidi, went over 4.82 at the Milrose Games almost exactly a month ago. Second of three Swedes, the very talented 17-year-old Lisa Gunnarsson. And the second Finn, the world junior record holder, Vilma Myrtle. Slovenia. Balkan indoor champion, Tina Sute. Multiple American collegiate titles when she was in the United States. And as you probably heard the infield announcer announcing, European under 23 silver medalist two years ago, Michaela Mayer. And a late addition, she got clearance only a few days ago. Ukraine's Myrna Kilipko. Improved to a personal best of 4.51 this winter. Germany's Annika Roloff. And the world junior champion from last summer, Angelica Moser. 2015 European Athletics and Rising Star as well. Yes, her season's best is only 4.51, although she does have a personal best of 4.62. Well, brings it down. Two more attempts for the Czech Volta. She has had quite a lot of competition this year and she has been consistently good over this height and more for several occasions. Nevertheless, I think you're right. It is a rather ambitious move to come in at this height. I can't see quite what the value would have been. Lisa Rizic also will be coming in at this height. She passed at 4.25. Ten women over 4.25. Nobody out of the competition so far. So we've got Angelica Bengtsson on the runway. Bronze medalist 
two years ago in Prague. Bronze medalist outdoors in Amsterdam last summer. Had a very, very starred junior career. No problems there for Bengtsson. A nice fault indeed. She was originally going to pass these championships, but obviously felt herself in such good shape that she made a fairly late decision to compete. Yeah, she's only had one outing so far this year when she took the Swedish indoor title. And I think that was what was governing her thoughts. She was just going to wait and see how that progressed, and indeed it went very well. Got a nice clearance at 4 meters 60 and thought, well, nothing to lose by coming here. Now back training in Sweden after sojourn in France, working with Renault Lavigny's coach. So now. There's Denisa Rosalova, thankfully out of hospital. Spent some time there after that tumble in the 400 meter semis. As we look at Irina Jakautsevich. Well, she had a failure at 4.25, and now a failure at 4 metres 40. Jakautsevich, well, second recently in Madrid, equalled her personal best at 4.50 this year. <laughs> Four times the Belarus indoor champion. Hasn't ever had a major championship medal, either in the junior or under-23 ranks, but did make the final of last year's European Championships. And here's another finalist from Amsterdam, Mina Nikonen. Now 28 years of age. Championship, somewhat of an erratic jumper, didn't make the final at either the 212 or 216 Olympics, and a few other major championship disappointments as well. That's an indoor best of 461. Good solid jump there, nicely clear. This is Greece's 2016 Olympic champion, Ekaterini Stefanidi. Well, she had one failure in her first jump of the competition. No problems there, though. Soaring clearance for Stefanidi. It's six women over 4.55. I mentioned the four who had first-time clearances before. Bengtsson from Sweden, Kilopko, Ukraine, Rysic, Germany, and Meyer. The second Swede clear at the first-time attempt at 4.55. Joining Stephanie D over at, with the second attempt was Mina Nikonen from Finland. Still another eight women in this competition. As we look at the third Swede, Lisa Gunnarsson. Gunnarsson 
Amundsen, the youngest in this field. Still just 17 years of age. Oh, great vault from Gunnarsson. That's a personal best. Adds four centimetres onto her personal best. Everything just clicked into place there with that vault. fifth in the European Junior Championships as a 16-year-old. And here we look at another very talented teenager, Bill Mamerto. No. Gets that a little bit out of order. So Gunnarsson, on her tours around Europe this year, actually won the French indoor title as a guest. Well, Merto can't join her compatriot Nikonen so far, but has one more attempt at this height. Well, that's Ekaterini Stefanidi going clear. First attempt at 4 meters 65. Already over that height as well is Lisa Reisisch, the European silver medalist last summer in Amsterdam. Still seven women in this competition. First time failures for Angelica Bengtsson and Mika Nikonen. Uh, Stephanie D shaken off the cobwebs that saw her fail first time at 4.55. Nicely over there. And she's the European leader by some margin. Well, one of three Swedes still in this competition. Lisa Gunnarsson setting a personal best of 4.55. Well, not a bad vault from Gunnarsson. my statistics actually I think that 455 may well be a world indoor youth best the Arriba shot Coopers Bube and Duha and Lopez well that's Marina Klipko second failure there at 465 well, the pole vault going on, the long jump, we've just had Torneas taking the lead. We rather left you hanging on with the question you asked, of course, about uh, Bukowiecki in the shot. And the answer is yes, a Polish national record. The previous one was Thomas Maziewski's 21.72. We were there, Istanbul, for the world indoors when he took the bronze. Indeed we were. I was fairly sure Maziewski never threw over 22 metres, so... Uh, wasn't quite sure because he threw so close to 22 metres on a number of occasions, both indoors and out. Well, Klopko, if she does clear 465 on her final attempt, that will be a personal best. Equaled her personal best going over 455. So at the moment, still just two women over 465. That's Lisa Reisich from Germany and the Olympic champion Ekaterini Stefanidi from Greece. Angelica Benson well, got a bronze medal at the Europeans outdoors last summer, indoors two years ago in Prague. She's in third place at the moment because she had a set of clearances without failures up to and including 4.55. Nope. She won't progress in this competition. 
Still has a chance of being on the podium, though. Four of the women having third attempts at this height. Well, unlike the men's competition, this in terms of death, perhaps a little bit disappointing at this stage. Of course, Rizic and Stefanidi very capable of going right the way into the 470s and beyond. Well, after her 460 at the Swedish Indoor Championships, she was probably expecting to clear this height. So, Mina Nikonen. Well, after a number of failures earlier in the competition, she's down in sixth at the moment. This would be an indoor best for Nikonen. Four centimetres above anything she's cleared on the cover so far in her career. Well, a good attempt there, but it wasn't to be. Brought the bar down. So she finishes in sixth place. Quick discussion with the coach. I'd like to see some action. But, uh, I've got Nikki Porov on the end of the long jump runway. I'm going to be looking out for that as we switch back to this uh, interesting pole vault. Yes, another Swede on the runway. This is Michaela Mayer, currently lying in fifth place. Just to remind you, just two women over, 465 at the moment. Personal best of 460. And she's out of the competition, finishing in fifth place. Well, that means the one woman remaining to vault, the Ukraine vaulter Marina Klipko, who was only added to this competition to fill the quota just over a week ago. He's guaranteed a medal. If she fails, she gets shares the bronze with Angelica Benson. If she clears, she goes on to contest 470 with Lisa Reisich and Ekaterini Stefanidi. Discussions continue while the shot put goes on. And the high jump in the heptathlon and the long jump, although for some reason there's a delay on the long jump. The cone is just sitting on the runway and Nikiforov has been at standing at the end of the runway, waiting to go. There must be some measuring problem or something. Well, Marina Klipko. Ten centimeters above her personal best, which she equaled when she went clear at 4:55. So she needs a big vault, but she's guaranteed a medal, which certainly wasn't expected at the start of the afternoon. Well, that was a very, very committed, very good effort indeed. Bags of height. The timing was a little bit off, but she shares the bronze with Angelica Benson. Well. We switch to Lisa Rizic. First attempt at 4 meters 70. Rizic over. Good clearance there from the German. 
guaranteed a medal, silver or gold. Four seventy-five. Research went straight home. Four seventy. That is in fact four seventy-five. Ekaterini Stefanidi has been passing and passing while Lisa Reisich has been clearing the height and she's coming back in. This is her first attempt at 4 metres 80. Has passed 470, 475 after watching Reisich go clear at those heights. Reisich failed at 480 on her first attempt and <laughs> Stefanidi, it stays up. She goes clear. That puts her into pole position, if you'll pardon the pun. Well, silver yesterday in the men's pole vault for Philippides. It's certainly guaranteed a silver today. Now what's Lisa Reisich going to do? How does she respond to that? Well, we look at the replay and the, I can tell you in the arena, the bar is still trembling. She hit it quite hard, but it was a downward force. It didn't push it off the uprights and it hasn't stopped moving yet. <laughs> well, both brilliant. Stefan Eady and the American Sandy Morris talked about an unforgiving bar in Rio where the heights were very modest. This, I think, is the quite the reverse. This it's is still moving. Bar. It's still moving. <laughs> Looking over to our left here. That's been a good 15 seconds worth of twitching there. Uh, she's a fine competitor, isn't she? Oh, yeah. I mean, a bit brave to pass both 470 and 475, I have to say. She must have been a little alarmed, perhaps, by Rizic going clear. Second failure at this height for Karoli as we see Lisa Reisic. Well, Lisa Reisic finishes with 4.75. She did take her third attempt at 4.85, but a silver medal once again, following on from her silver in Amsterdam last year. So, a good competition indeed, an indoor personal best for Reisic. 4.75. No, nowhere near does tend to be slightly deflating when you see Ekaterini Stefanidi clearing 480, 485 straight off. So a silver medal, one of many medals Germany have won and will continue to win at these championships. As Peter was saying just a moment ago, slightly disappointing. The bronze only decided at 455, shared between Kilopko from Ukraine and Bengtsson from Sweden. But good vaulting from the first two. Now Stefanidi putting this up to a world leading 491. So now back in the pole vault where we just saw Ekaterini Stefanidi go over 480 just a few minutes ago. Edging over with that bar switching up and down for a good 15 seconds or more. This is her first attempt at 485. Lisa Reisic has failed at this height. And once again, that was almost a repeat performance. Just look at that, bouncing up and down. Well, that's a European lead for Stefan Edy. Proves on her 482 from the Milrose Games in New York. She's a terrific competitor. In addition, well, we just talk about her Olympic title. She also took the European title in Amsterdam last year. And going back a few years, she's got World Junior and World Youth gold medals to her name as well. Well, really a fantastic competitor and a fantastic technician as well. And lots of height there. Caught the bar coming down, that's why it's still bouncing around. Well, 485 for Stefanidi. So, one last chance for Regis, who wonders if she'll put the bar even higher. She's got nothing to lose. Yeah. Meta 1500. I think full marks to Berglund as well, look at the um, Kovalas, because he did everything he had to. I mean, Lewandowski is a little bit too much at the moment, but, um, you know, Berglund's young and coming through, and he did everything that he could do, I think. 20 years of age, it was a very, very impressive performance. It'll be very intriguing to see what he does outdoors this summer. I think we're going to see a big improvement. There's the results.
of the women's pole vault. In the end, Ekaterini Stefanidi, the class act, getting a European leading high to 4.85. Lisa Reisic taking the silver with a personal best of 4.75. And then rather a long way down to the bronze medal, shared by Angelica Bergson of Sweden and Marina Klipko from Ukraine.